Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm going to be showcasing one of the things that I've done in order to fix a particular download that is 2.91 or 2.92 gigs where it constantly freezes, where it gets a certain amount there and then it basically says that it, it airs out and it says that it was any, unable to download the update. So with that, what I've discovered is, is actually trying to update, I believe, Vulkan, DirectX 12, and then the C++ stuff here. I also had a error code 237 this morning, which was a pain to deal with. Took a couple hours to figure out. With that one, if you go to Rockstar's website, essentially the launcher itself can't update, and because of that, it can't it can't launch, but mine would give me the error code and then still bring me here, still then try to download the 2.9192 gig update and then it would constantly fail it wouldn't do anything past like a hundred megs so with this if you go to their website it tells you hey you can do a bunch of different things close down the program itself and restart it restart your PC you can check the integrity of the files on your computer you can disable file firewall on your computer maybe that's preventing it um, you can actually reset your router. So I did all of those. Nothing helped. So this ended up being one of the things that did help. So not only did it fix the error code after I corrected this stuff, but then the download went smooth. I had zero problems. And this has come up quite a bit. Part of this is because I'm doing mods on the PC, so I'm importing these files. When you do that, you can't go online because if you go online, Rockstar is most likely going to ban you. So you have to actually remove these files before you play online. So I'll, I'll always remove the files and then I'll have this check the file integrity. And with that, it usually wants to run Vulkan, DirectX 12 and all of that again. But I usually run into this problem down the road. Before I've had it, so it's just constantly done it and just by happenstance, 10, 15 minutes later of me just constantly clicking retry, it finally does it. And on this one, it didn't at all. So I was like, I'm not, I gotta figure out something else. So if you go into settings, go here, we're gonna go to, uh, so here's the verify game file integrity that you can do, but you're actually gonna go to view installation folder. Once we're here, go to the read distributables. You have Vulkan RT, you're gonna double click that one. It'll ask to install it on your computer. We don't need to do that. VC uh, redistributable 64, you'll do that. And then DirectX. Now this has a ton of files in it, so you'll actually scroll down and it's DX setup. And I believe on this one, after it actually installed, it said, hey, you need to restart your computer. Once I did that, I didn't get the, the 237 error code and then the 2.92 gigs automatically went right through it. It was a breeze, no problems at all. I was able to play again. So hopefully that helps anybody that's struggling. I know this stuff isn't listed on Rockstar's website. So it's kind of partly up to gamers to kind of figure this out. So if I run into this again and this doesn't work and I figure something else out that does work, I will make a video of that as well. My hope being that if enough gamers do that, we do have a lot of different resources to figure out a way to correct the problem because I know it sucks if you're like hey I gotta write an email to Rockstar and I'm not gonna hear back for a while and then you can't play and it's also very frustrating when you're dealing with a problem for a couple hours and nothing is working everything on their website hasn't worked and you can't find anything that does so this is one potential answer to that hopefully it works for you guys um, if not let me know in the comment section hopefully we can get a dialogue going maybe I can steer you in the right direction or help any way I can. If I come across any other problems, I will definitely shoot a video showcasing how I fixed that as well. That way, it, like I said, just becomes a bunch of different videos that maybe one of them is potentially the answer somebody's looking for. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.